Shalom, Shalom. First, I'd like to give all praises unto Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Waharakar Kadash, and double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And honors to you, brothers out there in the highways and the byways, teaching this word in all sincerity and truth. And um, one thing you learn about Esau Edom is they have a desire to be praised. They have a desire to be the good guy in the way of they want to be portrayed as the good guy, whilst being the devil that the Bible speaks of. You know, despite all the wickedness that they have done on the planet Earth, okay, they want to be praised. They want to be remembered as, you know, heroes and, you know, courageous men, intelligent men, you know, pillars of the world, saviors. That's what they want to be remembered as. And it's crazy because they're the complete opposite of that. All right. They want to be remembered for enlightening the world when they've done the exact opposite. <laughs> they've brought gross darkness in the world you know they want to be the great man of great intelligence when the scriptures tells you the fool have said in his heart there is no god they are the fool and that's how they're going to be remembered man that's their memorial here it is they put our people in hardcore captivity and mistreated us and abused us and they want us to thank them you know they sell it as a good result for us in the end <laughs> and we should thank them you know it's crazy, like this clip right here. Back into their yoga tights. And so for all this awesome, neat, wonderful stuff, you know you don't. Thank the Lord, you thank the whites. Thank the whites, thank the whites. You know you don't. Thank the Lord, you thank the whites. Thank the whites, thank the whites. You know you don't. Thank the Lord, you thank the whites. That's the thing, you know, you had Edomites that were making videos talking about we gave you mobile phones, we gave you this, that and the other. And they, they were trying their best to sell us the idea that, you know, we're supposed to praise Esau and be thankful for him. Listen, we're going to praise the Mosai when the Mosai take you out of the way. And the whole world is going to rejoice when you're gone. And your only memorial is going to be that of a fool. And you're going to be set up as an example of who and what not to be. Okay, your name is going to be folly in the earth. Absolute folly. This is Isaiah, the 14th chapter. Verse 5 says, The Lord has broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. All right? And the wicked represents you, Edomites. You're the wicked. That's what you're good at. That's what you've given the world. Wickedness. You're a conduit for evil, darkness, and wickedness in the earth. Alright? This age is a dark age and you are its ruler. It says, Who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke? He that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindereth. Alright? Because you had no mercy on the people of the earth. All right, you are the ultimate oppressor. No one has oppressed as you have. You perfected oppression, wicked oppression. All right, now is there supposed to be an order? Yes, but there's a difference between righteous rulership and order and wicked oppression, which is what you exemplify in the earth. And that's why 1% of, of you Edomites have 99% of the world's wealth and everyone's resources and inheritances. Because you're a greedy man. Alright? A covetous man. Alright? And you want the world to thank you. He, he who smote the people in wrath with a continued stroke, he that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindereth. Alright? When you go down, <laughs> you, no, there's going to be no one there to stick up for you, man, because you, you violated everyone on the earth. The whole earth is at rest and quiet. They break forth into singing. Yea, the fir trees rejoice at thee and the cedars of Lebanon, saying, Since thou art laid down, no fella is come up against us. Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. It stirreth up the dead for thee. Even all the chief ones of the earth, they have raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nations. And they shall speak and say unto thee, Art thou also become weak as we? Art thou become like unto us? Thy pump is brought down 
come to the grave, all right? Because for the longest while, you Edomites have been on top. You've been top dog. You've been high on the horse. And that has filled you with much pride. Okay? And the noise of thy vows, the worm is spread under thee, and the worms cover thee. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? Right now, that represents their elites. Because these super elites, they call themselves being enlightened. Well, I will argue that they're not enlightened. Because if they were filled with the light, they would do the works of the light. Okay? Their light is darkness. They have the knowledge of good, but they choose evil. Because that's what they are. Their hearts are filled with darkness. Alright? We are the children of the light. We are the true children of the light. The true enlightened ones. Alright? They're filled with the darkness of folly and faithlessness. Carnality. Alright? Son of the morning, how art thou cut down to the ground which did is weaken the nations? Alright? Because they're always trying to sabotage everybody. 